Have you ever pondered the ripple effects of Genghis Khan's death on the world as we know it today? Buckle up, because today, we're delving into the world of the Mongol Empire post-Genghis Khan. On August 18, 1221, the man, the myth, the legend Genghis Khan, breathed his last. His death marked the end of an era but it also sparked the dawn of a new one. His empire didn't crumble, instead it expanded. His successors ensured the Mongol Empire's growth making it the largest contiguous land empire in world history. Upon Genghis Khan's demise his third son, Ogade Khan, ascended the throne. Ogade Khan was not just a ruler, he was an empire builder. His reign saw the Mongol Empire extend its reach to Eastern Europe including areas of Russia, Hungary, and Poland. He also initiated administrative reforms, implementing a decimal system for military organization and taxation. But with expansion comes conflict. After Ogede Khan's death the empire was fraught with internal strife. The Talawid civil war which raged from 1240 to 1244, was a critical event. The war ended with Monke Khan, a grandson of Genghis Khan, seizing power. Under his rule the empire expanded into the Middle East and Southern China, further consolidating Mongol power. However, Monka Khan's death in 1259 triggered another succession crisis. His brothers Kublai Khan and Arik Boka engaged in a bitter power struggle. Ultimately, Kublai Khan emerged victorious, establishing the Yuan dynasty in China, which lasted until 1368. The Mongol Empire's influence was not confined to territorial expansion. It facilitated the exchange of ideas and goods, paving the way for a global economy. The Mongols' well-protected trade routes, known as the Silk Road, allowed for the movement of goods and ideas across regions. This connectivity led to the spread of technologies, religions and even diseases like the Black Death. The empire eventually fragmented into multiple khanates, including the Golden Horde in Russia and the Ilkhanate in Persia. These states continued to shape their respective regions long after the Mongol Empire's decline. In the grand scheme of things, the death of Genghis Khan was not an end, but a catalyst. It sparked a chain of events that shaped continents and cultures, leaving an indelible mark on world history. The Mongol Empire's legacy is etched into the fabric of our modern world, from the borders of countries to the way we trade and exchange ideas. So the next time you ponder the world as we know it, remember that the echoes of the past, like the legacy of Genghis Khan and his successors, continue to reverberate in the present. The ripple effects of their rule have shaped the course of our shared human journey, and their influence persists, woven into the tapestry of our global society.